Hello everyone! In today's video, we are going to see how we can use the skin wrap and morpher modifiers to create discussion. If you like the contents, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what you would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! First, I'm going to import a model of cushion that was created in Marvel's Design. It. We see here that the model has triangles. Let's then create a new mesh for this model using the two modifiers and we will also create a pattern to apply to the same pillow using the same process. Let's delete one and work only with that one. For this tutorial, I will also use the UV Mesh script. The download link will be in the video description. This script is used to flatten the UV of the model. Let's first convert the model to editable poly. Add the unwrap modifiers. Let's open the UV editor. As you can see, the model has a square mesh. When you create it, when you create a model in Marvel Design, by default, it's created the UV according to the 2D drawing of the model. Let's convert it back to editable poly and let's click on flatten from UV. Notes that he created a copy of our pads and already applied the Morphe modifier. Here we have the controller and we increase to the value to 100 it's leave the model flat. This make it easy to create a new mesh from that model. So let's create a new plan. Let's enable snapping in the vertices option. Let's create the plane according to the model vertices. Now in segments, I will change it to 25, the same on the other plane. Now let's convert it to editable poly and join the planes with attach. Note that the planes were created in exactly the same position on our planet cushion. Now let's use the skin wrap modifiers. In the modifier we have some option. In the parameters tab, go to add and click on our cushion that has the flatten. It makes a very quick calculation, as the model is simple. Let's return into the cushion. Now, according to the value of our parameter, it will return the model to its original shape. How you apply the skin wrap in your plan, it will follow the same design in this way. I'm going to disable the model with Morpher. Here, we already have created the new mesh from the planes we created. We can improve this edge's context by changing the deformation engine for face deformation. We have some options below, but for this model, you won't need to change them. Now, for you apply this modifier to the model, convert it to editable poly. If you add any new modifiers with the skin wrap still open, it will lose the model deformation. Then convert it to editable poly and then make changes to the new mesh. Well, to solve the problem of the Zs, as you can see the model is separating the two meshes. It's very simple, just change the select mode for the ads. Hold the control key and change to the vertices mode so it selects all the vertices of the edge. Now, let's go to weld to join the points. 
I will use the value of 0.4 and we will apply the welds. To confirm that there is no open space left, return to borders mode. Press Ctrl A. If nothing selected, everything was joined correctly. If your selection appears, you do the same process again and increase the weld value. Here, we already have the model ready and working correctly with the new mesh. Notice that all the details are correctly in the new mesh. Now, I'm going to show you a way to improve your cushion, creating a pattern to apply to this pillow. For this, I will create a new plan. I will load a reference image of a fabric pattern. Let's apply it to this plan. I will increase the size a little. Now, I'm going to create this fabric pattern. I'm going to speed up this step in the video a little and I will come back to let's continue with the tutorial. Ok, now that we have created this pattern, I'm going to go back to our model that has the morpher and we are going to increase its value to 100. So, let's adjust the proportion of this pattern. We adjust it in all angles. Here, I will improve its shape. Let's create some copy to check if the pattern is working well. Ok, let's create a copy to the side now. Let's adjust this side's part better. Ready. Now let's create some copies of this pattern to fill all the space on our pillow. Holding shifts to create the copies, I will create 20 copies. 
which the cops created. We will isolate them. We convert it to editable poly and apply an attach to unit them all into a single mesh. Let's create the copies to the side now, again holding shift. Let's delete this excess. Once again, we isolate and join the now with attach. I will position the pivot in the center of the shape and to apply this pattern to the cushion, the process will be the same as we did previously. I'm going to create another copy and we are going to position it above this other plane. which will be the back of the cushion. Before applying the skin wrap, we must remove the excess mesh for a pattern. To do this, let's return into our model. Let's add an edit poly. In the edge mode, we will select the edge of the model and create a new shape from the edge. Once this is done, we can delete the edit poly modifier. In the shapes created, we will uncheck this option and convert them to editable poly. Again, in borders mode, let's hold in shift and extrude the edges out. We go to face mode and delete the center face. Now let's separate the two shapes with the tats. And finally, we align on our pattern with these shapes. Once that it's done, we all join the shapes together again with the attach. Now, we apply a shell to give thickness to this shape. Make it go through to entire pattern that was created. Let's also join our pattern to a single mesh and apply the boolean. In subtract mode, we will click on our shape to make it the cuts in the earth standard. Ok, now let's convert it to editable poly and delete all this remaining part of the model. Just select and press delete. Once this is done, we already have the pattern cut out and the size has already been adjusted according to the cushion. Now with the pattern selected, we apply the skin wrap modifier. Go to add and click on our model with the morph. Note that now the calculation is a little slower. This is because the Spartan has a greater density of polygons and therefore the calculation is lower. I'm going to right click to exit the select mode. We go to the model with the morpher and reset the parameters. As you can see, or the new pillow has already been created. As we already know, the edges will be a little distance. And to solve this, simple create a new detail on the edges to hide this opening.
let's select our model, convert it to editable poly and we'll center the pivots. I'm going to drag it to the sides and here we have the three models. I'm going to create a border to resolve that open. To do this, we will align our model which has that pattern in the first model that we created the new mesh. Now on the other cushion, let's select its entire edge and go to create a shape and use the linear and OK. As you can see, it will create a line exactly in the space where it is open. Now just add thickness to this line and add open subdivide modifier. Here, you can adjust the parameters so that this detail is not so large. I will change the color and that's it. Now finally, I'm going to use the process I will do to make this model more realistic. For this, we will export our model to ZBrush. Let's go to File and Export Selected. I will select the allocation and export as OBJ. Well, this stage of the process will be accelerated. What I do is basically give greater emphasis to those parts of the model where the pattern connects. This way we leave the cushion with more waves, thus giving the model a more three-dimensional appearance. To do this, we just use the 10 standard brush and move it in that direction, thus creating this sinking between the model pattern. Here, we can see the model was and how it looks now with the new adjustments. Another brush we can use is Inflates to create a slight deformation in the size of the patterns we created. This way the model will have some irregular shapes, creating a slight variation in the size of the pattern. Once it is done, we export it back to the 3ds Max. I'm going to create a copy, drag it to the sides and delete this one first. And now let's import the model. I'm going to adjust our pivots. By default it's coming with some material applied from ZBrush. I will create a new one with less reflection and apply it into the model. Here you can see the difference between the two models. This one has better aspects, both in deep and size variation of the pattern elements, leaving the model a little more refined. Let's delete this old one, bring it to the side and we will return with the other variation of the model. Well, that was today's video, I hope you liked it, see you next time, bye, subscribe to the channel, it's very important.